All right, welcome everyone back to another video of this 2015 BMW 228 Coupe. My name is Nathan again. If you haven't seen the walk around video of this car, take a look. It's on my channel, probably very close to this one. On this one, we're going to take a test drive on this nice car. Six speed manual, midnight blue metallic. 56,000 miles on this car. And it's, uh, it is a good one, a clean one, and a fun to drive manual. So. Won't you come along? We're gonna go do some city driving and uh, a little bit of highway, freeway as well. So here we are. 56,000 right miles, very right miles for the age. See, no, emergency brake. Got the sport displays up on the screen. And. Uh, Original window sticker sitting here on the passenger side seat. I talked about in my other video that um, the car has nice equipment. You can see it right there. Take a look for yourself. Uh, Harman Kardon sound system, uh, premium package, cold weather package with heated seats, which is nice for today because as you can see, it's only 34 degrees and a heated steering wheel. This car's been well cared for had fresh oil service, brake fluid change, new front brakes and rotors and sensors. Rear brakes have lots of time and life left on them. Nearly like new. Has good tires as well. <clears throat> this car is fun to drive. I apologize if it's a little bouncy because not the easiest. I've done it many times of driving manual transmission cars and videoing at the same time, but we'll make it work here. shift suggestion you might remember from old cars of long ago they'd often have shift lights this car tells you which gear it prefers you to go into based on your current speed which is kind of interesting and helpful to maximize fuel economy <clears throat> so make a great car for someone for a track car if you're looking for an inexpensive starting platform for a good track car with the six-speed manual transmission and a two-door coupe that's rear-wheel drive, certainly can't go wrong. But also just a nice car to daily drive and enjoy. It's smooth, it's quiet, it's refined, it drives fantastic, doesn't have any issues or shakes or vibrations or anything strange. I appreciate your uh, subscriptions, your comments, your suggestions. If you'd like to contact me to ask questions about this car, my phone number is in the description and comments section, please do. I enjoy to make these videos and talk about cars. And of course to sell them. <laughs> Previous owner had this car for two and a half years and only put 26,000 miles on it, 26, 27,000 miles, but he enjoyed it very much. That's fourth gear. 4,000 RPMs at 70 miles an hour in now, fifth gear. This car only has, I mean only, but it's perspectively speaking, it's 240 horsepower, but I'll tell you what, this car certainly feels, maybe it's a combination of the turbo and just the size of a small car, but this car certainly feels like it has more to give than 240 horsepower. It's very... 
enjoyable to drive. Gets the adrenaline going. Makes good sound. It would make even better sound with a different exhaust. There's a good fellow BMW. So if you continue watching, I will do another segment here of me driving it on the freeway at a little higher speed. And this car does everything right and everything like it should. and stay tuned we'll pick up here uh, with another segment just right after this again thanks for watching and hope you enjoy all right here we are again heading towards the freeway <clears throat> roundabouts because this car certainly would be an excellent car for track purposes like I said so with that car right there is everybody paying attention to what that is that's an Audi S8 that's a fantastic car very expensive very fast and I don't want him to think that I want to race him but I wanted to show this little nice 228 doing some curving bound freeway here and go a couple of miles and then we will uh, turn around and do the same on the way back so, second gear third gear the sport displays are kind of neat when you're shifting because if you let the car wind out it'll show you the maximum horsepower that it's achieving in a particular gear <laughs> Gear. This car cruises nicely, just about 80 miles an hour in six gear at 3,000 RPMs. Kind of nice. And really, even in six gear, the ideal to downshift. However, the car still accelerates nicely even in six gear if you need to add a few per hour for passing or other things. This car definitely makes most of its power in the upper RPM bands. I believe the original spec said that the 240 horsepower was achieved at about 5,000 RPMs, which makes sense with a turbocharged car. A little bit of a traffic jam here, held up by a Ford Windstar. Well, it rides and rolls very, very nicely, nice and smooth. Excellent handling, braking, acceleration, and the like. Very, very fun car to drive. Great car for the price, if I say so myself. I appreciate.
appreciate your watching and I'll take any suggestions that you'd like to make or any commentary. Love new subscriptions. I think it's very cool that people like to watch the stuff that I do. I think it'd be even better if a Ford Windstar knew how to get in the driving lane rather than the passing lane. <laughs> are fantastic. Heated steering wheel is fantastic. Our friendly Nissan Rogue is exiting the same exit as we are. So if you've seen enough, you can certainly uh, stop watching if you like, but we're going to get off here and turn around and go back the same way we came, hopefully not blocked by a Ford Windstar. <clears throat>
commented about the Audi S8 earlier in this video was one time a long time ago I think I was driving a Pontiac G5 on a test drive which of course is not a very exciting car not as exciting as this and there was a McLaren I think it was a McLaren 720S that passed in front of me at an intersection and one of the commentators said that I hadn't even commented about that car but I saw it I just didn't comment and I think it was incredibly relevant to the to the inexpensive Pontiac that I was reviewing <laughs> but since we're driving a BMW and Audi is also a fantastic German car that is relevant we're going to exit the freeway here Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, I do appreciate your comments and suggestions and subscriptions, of course. Again, my name is Nathan. If you're interested in this fantastic 56,000 mile BMW 228, oh, the automatic start stop feature just kicked in, uh, please contact me. My phone number is in the comments down below. This is a great car, good miles, six-speed manual, makes it all the more fun, of course, and it make a fantastic car for anyone or a great track car, and what a great car for the price. So thanks again for watching and everything else that I've mentioned, and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.